What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the 30th anniversary Mortal Kombat trailer. Being a Mortal Kombat tournament player, I feel like I'd be doing my franchise a disservice by not at least watching it. I have not watched it. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this video and uh, give my genuine reaction because I have never ever seen the trailer, but it seems like it's uh, only a minute and 30, so let's see what they got. Before I jump into it guys, um, for those of you guys who don't know me, I'm a professional Mortal Kombat 11 player. I've been playing fighting games competitively for probably like three or four or five years now. It's a little background on me, so I do have some history with the franchise. My first Mortal Kombat game that I played with the intention of getting good was Mortal Kombat 9, but I've been playing Mortal Kombat since I was like a five-year-old kid with Armageddon, Deception, Deadly Alliance. So um, Mortal Kombat, I hold dearly to my heart for sure. I'm Liu Kang. It is an honor to do with you. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? It has begun! <laughs> oh, this is... Impressive. This is actually cool. Wait, let me go back. That was sick. I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to go back. Sorry if it's annoying, but I thought it was I'm actually kind of cool that they had the uh, to do with you. development in there. That the past and future are colliding. It has begun. Was it the Sector Fatality from MK9? Impressive. Fight. Don't show respect. Reptile, bro. I miss Reptile. He needs to be. I hope, hopefully, he's in the next game. If the next game is Mortal Kombat, love Reptile, bro. Johnny Cage, bro. Look at the two of us. Surprised to see. Bro, Johnny Cage, dude. Top five Mortal Kombat characters in the franchise for me. He's just so swaggy. Something about Johnny, like they just nailed him right. Just like the cocky asshole. But he can actually, he can actually throw hands though. You know what I'm saying? So. I will make you regret it. Damn, Mortal Kombat 9 at the bottom, X Ultimate. We got the movies on the top. The only gripe I have about the trailer, honestly, is that it was only a minute and 30. I feel like this franchise is too historic. Um, well, it says trailer, right? So trailer means it's leading to something, right? So what is it actually leading to is, oh man, I wish there was more because Mortal Kombat has been around for 30 goddamn years, bro. I wish they had like a flashback to like, um, I think they had a little bit of MK9 in there, but like, I didn't see any like Shaolin monks. I didn't see any Deadly Alliance Armageddon. Maybe I'm tripping though. Maybe it was, but like, it was only a minute and 30. Impressive. Fun fact, guys, I still have not played or even seen the Mortal Kombat 11 story mode as far as the casual aspect. Like, it's cool and all, but like, I don't know. I'm more so of a competitor, but like, I love the story modes. Like when I actually do get around to them, I have such a short attention span. Like for me to sit there and do it, I might as well just watch it at this point. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys think I should actually, uh, if I should do a, I doubt it. I really doubt it, but let me know if you guys think I should play the MK11 story mode and like chop it up and make it entertaining for you guys. That's cool. I'm not going to lie. I like how like he threw an ice ball from the MK11 perspective and then it froze like the early Mortal Kombat. Tony Boy. That's cool, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. The trailer's looking cooler as I go back Loud. and watch Don't it again. Mortal Kombat has like changed my life. Guys, it's, it's crazy. Like, I wonder how, I mean, it's probably even more nostalgic for people who are older, you know, who have been around since the first. Like, I'm not, I was born in 2000, so um, I could only, my nostalgia only goes so far back with like Armageddon and Shaolin Monks and stuff, but 
I would not be doing this if it wasn't for like the people like Ed Boone and like John Tobias who uh, even decided to make this franchise in the first place. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'd be playing. The whole landscape of like or the whole scope of my life is just change, takes a drastic different direction if I just never touch this game or if my uncles never introduced me to Mortal Kombat, which is crazy to think about because that's like the same case for a lot of people. Pretty much it for the video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Truly. Um, let me know who your guys' favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time is. Um, it could even be a guest character. It doesn't even have to be a core Mortal Kombat character. Um, personally, my favorite character that I used to, that I felt attached with was Kung Lao the moment I touched him in Shaolin Monks. Shaolin Monks just made him seem so sick. I feel like Shaolin Monks made, it opened up a whole different creative door for how these characters' moves can look and how they can be used. And um, I hope, honestly, I mean, I hope the next game isn't a Shaolin Monks game. I mean, I would love a Shaolin Monks game alongside a competitive Mortal Kombat game, but a Shaolin Monks Part 2 would be sick and I would not mind playing that and I would love to stream that. I should honestly um, stream the old Shaolin Monks on my uh, my Twitch channel. If you guys don't know what my Twitch channel is, it's going to be in the description, but it is twitch.tv slash rewindnv. If you guys want to tune in, um, I stream on there more than YouTube, but I do stream on YouTube on occasion. Um, but that is it, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Truly, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Um, once again, drop your favorite Mortal Kombat character in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't. Love you guys. Peace.